वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू I do not know they have started quite a lot in recent years they started off as being very conservative in their economic policy but lately they have been saying that they believe in socialism only they do not think that we are socialism only they do not follow properly first they were against the very concept of planning now they say planning is good but our plans are bad in foreign policy also they were against our policy of non alignment and they were for a pro western attitude since last year they have been saying that they believe in non alignment but we are not certainly not aligned so in any way it is several steps forward and in most of my public speeches when i criticized them i have says i am not against the sangh parivar as indeed i am not against any party as such i am against certain ideas which i consider to be bad for national unity or national strength and that is why as long as the sangh parivar talks about superiority of one religion or the people of one region about the majority community being the first class citizens and the others being the second class citizens on that point i am certainly going to oppose them with all my strength and i hope i am not immodest when i say that it was largely due to my efforts in the latest mid term polls that we were able to reduce sangh parivar seats both in bihar and up and for which they cannot forgive me and there is no occasion when they have come to me on other matters when they have not said why do you hit us and i tell them that it is only for these reasons and if you change well you have a right to think like us on economic matters or any important matters it is a democratic country but just religious opposition is very bad for us as we have seen in the last communal riots that we had it is something which eats away the very foundations of our nation while we are settling down the people are maturing politically the people are being strengthened the example i gave of the sang parivar they changed certainly not because of my speeches obviously the people are not at 
वन लेवल मेनी ऑफ आर स्वतंत्र पार्टी एम पी आर इलेक्टेड फ्रॉम एरिया इन बिहार विच दे हैड नेवर विजिटेड बिफोर दे डू नॉट इवन स्पीक द लैंग्वेज ऑफ द पीपल दे नो नथिंग अबाउट इट बट दे इलेक्टेड फ्रॉम दोज एरिया बिकॉज पीपल आर इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड लेस पॉलिटिकली कॉन्शियस देन इन अदर पार्ट देर आर विद इन एनी कंट्री डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट अगेन इफ आई मे गिव एग्जाम्पल इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी आई वेंट टू अ प्लेस इन एन ई एफ ए वेर द वेरी फर्स्ट व्हील डेट द पीपल सॉ was the wheel of the dakota plain they had no conception of anything round although they had a fairly developed irrigation system of their own but they had never walked on a wheel they had not seen a cart or anything like that now today they have got jeeps you cannot say that those people are as politically conscious as people in delhi or mumbai or in bihar or up so when you think of india you must think of this in the background now obviously i cannot prophesy about india's future except that as i had said earlier i have great confidence in the people and i have no doubt that whatever happens they will come at the top and that is what matters one of the points of disagreement between me and some of our party bosses was that right in the beginning soon after becoming prime minister i made a speech in mumbai where i said that congress is very dear to me because some people joined it at the age of 15 some people at the age of 20 and some at 40 or 50 but i was born in the congress there was no time when my home was not the center of all the major political movements decisions and the meetings that took place and the whole of modern indian history was being made there people from all over india peasants and others were constantly coming i was meeting them i was in touch with their problems and so on nobody could be closer to the congress or even more emotionally involved than i have been and still i am but even so i do feel that the country is more important than the congress if the congress serves the needs of the country it is all right we are with it but if it does not we cannot say that this is more important than india or the people of india and many people resented this remark of mine thank you